Hello and welcome. This is a tutorial on how to debug a SQL stored procedure from within uh, a managed code such as uh, C Sharp. To begin, I will create a new project. It can be a Windows application, it's fine. So what I will do is I will create a, um, a connection to the SQL Server using the Server Explorer. Right click on Data Connections, Add Connection, and here localhost is where my um, uh, the SQL Server is on. I'm going to select a test database using Windows Authentication. Now the username that you uh, want to use to debug has to have administrative rights to your workstation that you're debugging on. So I'm going to click OK here to uh, create the SQL connection. Now if I expand uh, my connection I've got a single uh, table here called address and I've got a stored procedure called SE get address. The address uh, table has um, these column names, it's a standard uh, set of column names and uh, the uh, stored procedure As you can see, it's prompting me if I want to unblock the ports. I'm just going to say yes, unblock uh, remote debugging from any computer. Now, if you don't have your firewall on, uh, you're not going to have to unblock it, obviously. So, here is what my stored procedure is uh, just a select statement, essentially. And notice I'm putting a breakpoint right here on this line which I will um, come back to later. So what I will do here is um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to create a grid which um, using the data source uh, just to uh, speed up the demonstration I'm just going to um, uh, create a data source uh, here. Click next, and uh, my connection string is already here, which is fine. Next, test connection string is fine for the name. And here, uh, all I'm going to select for this data set is the table and my uh, stored procedure and hit finish. Now, now that I've uh, created the data source, I can simply drag and drop the data source on the uh, form to create a grid that is bound to that data source. And now if I run the application, I should get the records that are in the database. Which I do. Now bear in mind that uh, Visual Studio behind the scenes is uh, creating um, all the necessary uh, grunt work to um, call the stored procedure from C Sharp code. And uh, uh, fetch the uh, data set that we have here from uh, SP get address. So here, this is my application here. Um, so what I will do first of all is I'm gonna right click on my actual project and say properties 
and under debug notice there's a section called enable debuggers well there's an option called enable SQL server debugging which I'm going to check in order to uh, allow debugging and I'm um, gonna close out here so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add instead of having it load on uh, load the data set on uh, form load I'm just going to add a button here um, which will allow me to call this uh, as needed um, the uh, store procedure and I'm gonna call this button gonna call it fetch data and I'm gonna use the same exact code that it automatically generated for me in the interest of time to uh, do my debugging and save it so now I'm going to rebuild the solution and run so if I click the button notice it automatically stepped uh, into the stored procedure which I called and uh, hit the breakpoint that I set inside the stored procedure now let's back up a step here to show you what enabled me to do this here under debug attached to process let's show processes from all users and in all sessions So this msvsmon.exe is what the uh, SQL uh, server runs uh, to uh, execute the stored procedure. So here I could accomplish the same thing by clicking on debug these uh, code types and selecting T-SQL and then attaching to msvsmon.exe so let's stop this application now and take a look at our connection here the uh, um, notice that the application debugging uh, is selected now if I change it to allow SQL CLR debugging it will prompt me uh, it will cause all my managed threads on the server to stop do you want to continue I'll say yes so now I should be able to do the same here by uh, simply running through the uh, process and I should be able to hit this um, SQL start procedure again so I'm gonna uh, run this um, same uh, application again and again I'm just gonna click on the button that's fetching the data uh, knowing that I only want to debug the store procedure that it hits and I've already placed the um, debugging point here so if I click fetch data here we are again it uh, hit my breakpoint again inside my stored procedure and if I hit F11 I can actually step through and I uh, and step through the stored procedure if I had more than one line obviously so that's really all there is uh, to uh, 
uh, debugging for managed code. I hope uh, that you found this uh, quick video useful. Uh, uh, one note is um, that I want to uh, point out is if you have um, a data access wrapper uh, which you want to uh, debug uh, out of box when you um, try to uh, debug the application you will probably not be able to um, debug inside the stored procedure offhand um, using the first method so you will have to um, come here right click here and uh, you will have to check the allow SQL CL, CLR debugging for sure in order to be able to um, debug your application if you don't then uh, usually it, it doesn't uh, allow you to debug the uh, uh, store procedure thanks for watching